Fire Signs to your chakra reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with your chakras. This is for Earth Air Cuspies, Taurus Gemini Cusp, Virgo Libra Cusp, Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Just one more day to that solar eclipse. Of course, I'm not going to be able to see it, but I can't wait to see pictures of it online. <laughs> you know, you got to see it somehow. So, um, but the energies around you, you're probably feeling these energies already as the portal had opened yesterday on the 12th. Okay, so as that portal opens, it's bringing in all of this weird energy, um, a lot of emotions, a lot of different kinds of things going on. Um, okay, so yeah, I can only imagine the tugs and pulls that everyone is feeling at this time. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on with you. <laughs> we have the imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So really feeling that creativity coming out through that crown chakra, really feeling it. Um, and knowing, right? That's where the the crown chakra and that intuition are going to come together with the throat chakra and just make all this imagination, all this creativity, all these things. So I can imagine your mind is going crazy. You're probably getting ready to manifest a lot of things, a daydream believer, doing all these things. Great job though, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. You want that for these, uh, for this solar eclipse, right? You want that because you want to get those manifestations out there. You want to get that imagination going, right? So you have the Merkaba activation, transcendence, ascension, you are rising up. I love that, rising up, rising up in your imagination, in your manifestation, right? In the way you're visualizing things, in the ways that you want things and you're co-creating with the universe. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that, you guys? Okay, so let's see what's going on in your chakras as we know exactly what's going on over here. Right, you guys are really, really getting in touch with those, definitely those three, and of course your heart chakra as well, um, for the things that you love, um, right, throat chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye into the intuition, right, you can also see it here on the mat as well, as on the wall, um, right, going straight from the heart, the center, all the way up to the top of the head, or here on the wall, going towards the angel, <clears throat> our beautiful angel, judgment angel, angel of judgment. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Give us the best messages, please, that the beautiful earth air signs have in common about this imagination and this beautiful chakras that they have as they are keeping themselves balanced and going through this beautiful rebirth. Whoa, hello, rebirth. And it's the rebirth of the imagination, of the way that you are transforming, the way that you're thinking. I think it's also the way, not only the way you're thinking so much, it's also the way you're seeing things, perceiving things. Maybe you know that, you know what, I can co-create. I just need more practice. If I imagine it, I keep doing this, I keep doing that. I can do this, right? Absolutely. But whatever it's whatever you're going through, my friends, you're definitely going through a beautiful transformation when it comes to the imagination right, of how you're seeing things, how you're perceiving things. Uh, maybe you don't perceive things the way you used to. You're growing in your own way into a beautiful butterfly. Um, inner strength over here, really, look at that as her mold. See, she looks like a statue in her mold. This is the outer, it's a part of a transformation. I can see them together. It's like you're breaking out of the old mold to become this new beautiful butterfly. Because underneath there, you're realizing all this strength is underneath this, you know, I'm going to break this mold and get rid of all of that so that I can really, truly use my solar plexus. Because my solar plexus is where my intentions are. That's where my strength is. That's where your inner strength is. That's that gut feeling. That's, you know, that six inches above that belly button. I tell you guys, when you're doing your meditations and you say, huh, huh, right? If you put your hand there and you go, huh, it makes your stomach move. That is power. That is where your power is. When you meditate and you do the deep breaths, you make sure that's moving. Make sure, right, that you have the solar plexus and the sacral chakra moving together. You make them both move together. The belly button, 
under the belly button, the top of the belly button, right? Because on top of the belly button is the strength, and underneath it is the sacral chakra for the desire, the want. This is what I can do. This is what I want, right? And it goes straight into the what? Into the root chakra of what? I can have. I have. Because I have what? Strength. I have what? Desire. Everything moves this way. Comes from the root chakra being at the, um, the base of the hips and the spine as you sit on the ground. That's where you're grounding yourself for that energy moving up to your head of the crown chakra. So everything starts by grounding yourself. Ground your energy. Once you get your root chakra grounded, then, right, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Ground yourself for what you love, right? Because you're going to start with your heart chakra anyways, because you always want to start at the middle. The middle is opening up that heart chakra. So that's saying, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to have. This is what I love. This is what I'm doing this for, <laughs> right? So really opening up that heart chakra, right? And then once you're done meditating and doing everything you want within your power, you're going to put your left hand over your right, or sorry, your left hand on your heart with your right hand over your left hand, and you're going to continue to put all that manifestation into your heart space, right? I swear one day I am going to do this. I am not good on film. I have this thing about showing my face, but I swear I am going to do this video so we can all do this together one day. I keep saying that to myself. I just have to have the nerve enough, right, <clears throat> to make a lot, you know, to make a video. I'm not very good. Um, I have um, camera shyness, I know. Who would have known, right? As much as I talk and the way I am, I have, yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so spiritual awakening. I know, it's crazy. <coughs> But I know that I do. Spiritual awakening over here, and this is, this is giving you the spiritual awakening to your visualize, see, towards your imagination, towards your visualizations. Telling yourself, this is what it is. What is at the bottom of the deck is your what? Because of your life purpose. There you guys go. You're on your destined path. You're, you're ready to move. You're really moving. You're awakening that spirit within yourself. How are you awakening that spirit? By saying, I am strong, taking that rebirth, having that visualization, knowing who you are, what you are, you're awakening all of these, what? All your chakras, all your senses. Merkaba activation. Having an ascension. You're rising above. Knowing that things are going on around you. Maybe not sure exactly how this is all working. You don't need to know exactly how it's all working. You just accept it, right? You receive it. <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> Be very grateful and say thank you. Uh, so we can get another one. <clears throat> uh, rebirth over here. Listen to your body. Absolutely. When your body says it's hungry, feed it. When your body says it's thirsty, right? Nourish it with fluids. When it says it's tired, give it rest. Because right now your body says, I'm going through a transformation. I need you to listen to what I'm telling you. And it will because it's probably going to get tired. You guys are probably going to get a little tired. Because, yes, higher vibrations. Higher vibrations coming out. Saying because of the visualizations. Visualizations also work on the tiredness as well because it's making your mind move. Right? But you're going to sit at a higher vibration as you are transforming. Keep yourself at that higher vibration. Keep yourself going strong. Give yourself the, you know, positive affirmations. I'm going to give you some positive affirmations at the end of the video. So that way you guys can have these positive affirmations to take with you. So you can always say, I am strong. I am strength. I am awake. I am on the right path. I am rich. I am love. Okay? Making your manifestations and all your things move as your positivity stays strong. Underneath the in, inner strength and this spiritual awakening underneath. Yeah, spiritual awakening is you actually going into the star 
a chakra, right? That's where you're going to be six inches above the crown, going straight into the spirit. Spirit star chakra saying, I'm in touch with spirit. I'm in touch with my higher self. I am in touch with spiritual things. Commit to happiness. This is where you really want to commit to that happiness. It's also a part of that vibration going on. As you're committing to happiness, you're going to allow yourself to reach these higher things. Be able to visualize the things and make things that you visualize come through. So right now, it's a very great time for you to have these things. You want to make sure you have boundaries. Boundaries against people who do not fit into your vibration. They do not fit into your vibration. You want to stay away from them at this time. Okay? Especially while we have all of these, these lunar eclipses and solar eclipses and all these things going on. Keep away from people who are not at the same vibration. You will know if they're not at the same vibration. You will feel it immediately. You'll say, my God, you're too negative. Oh, my God, you're bringing me down. Oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> I just don't want to hear it. It's just going to be a total, you know, and for a lot of you, you're just going to feel like it is a turn off. You're turning me off. It's almost like you hit my off button. Because of your nagging and your complaining and your, you know, I just don't want to hear it. And this is because you're at a higher vibration. When we hit higher vibrations, we don't want to be around naggers. We don't want to be around people who are angry. There's going to be, a, you know, those negative energies are going to be a super turnoff. You're going to want to be around people who are more compassionate. People who keep you turned on. Let's keep it that way. It's like you're going to be like a light switch. As soon as you come at me, I'm going to be like, everything went dark. Sorry, I can't hear you. Got to go. Turn, you turned me off. <laughs> Not even a joke. And it's true. Anything that's too dramatic, anything that's, you know, you know what I'm saying. Those who have a problem, you're probably going to be like, oh my God, hold on, let me help you. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. I got you. See what I'm saying? Different kinds of energy. But if it's just going to be all negative, like, oh my God, just go away. Release negative habits, 44. We all form habits and patterns in our lives, whether in thought or action, but like a pair of comfortable old slippers, there comes a time when they outgrow their value to us and we must let them go. That's because of the transformation. Do something different today that shakes you out of your usual ways of responding and have fun doing so. And like I said, that'll be people as well. You'll want to shake them off, right? Because you're going to say, stop that, you know. I don't want that. Go ahead and bless your past. Ooh, we had this one on the solar plexus, or the solar plexus. We had this one on this, uh, excuse me, the solar eclipse uh, reading, bless your past. A useful tool to help us to let go of any emotional residue that is still clinging to us from a past experience is to bless your past. Whenever... The memory of an event or person comes to mind. Pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past. And I celebrate the, contribu the contribution excuse me, that it gave me in becoming the person that I am today. And it doesn't matter if it was that negative person that you remember how strong they made you. Remember, through every weakness and every... Every fall and every pit stop and everything that we go through within our life, it only makes us stronger. And it also, remember, those people that, you know what, and I can't stand such and such and such. Yeah, but what lesson did they make you learn from them? I'll tell you what a lot of you learn from ex-relationships is what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with boundaries. I don't want a person like that because they hurt me. I'm not going to deal with that type of behavior anymore. Because I know who I am. They weaken us to build us. And sometimes it takes years for us to heal through these situations. But actually, if we bless our past and think about what just really happened, how did they really hurt me? And for those of you who deal with a narcissist, I have a lot of you. Remember how they made you feel, but remember how you feel now. 
You will never deal with that again. Why? Because you've grown through it. And if you're still trying to heal through it, bless your past, bless yourself. Bless your past and say, you know what? Thank you for actually taking me through this lesson, this horrifying lesson, because you know what? Now I know what kind of strength I really truly have. I know who I am. And I know what kind of person you are and enough to stay away from those type of people because I've already learned from those type of people. I don't need to go back to that type of person anymore. Now the Lord can throw you other types of people with other problems, other attributes, good things, bad things, all of the above because we're all made of both anyways, good and bad. There's no such thing as we're all, you're going to find the perfect person. There's no such thing. It's just whether or not how you're going to deal with their flaws, are they, is it okay? Right. Can they deal with yours? Remember, you, we are not perfect either. So we have to remember that other people see us also. And they may have to bless their souls and bless their hearts from us as well, right? That woman talked too much. Yes. And I'm a quiet person. Okay. <laughs> but you see what I'm trying to say. So let's see what spirit has for us. But, you know, that's just the way it works. Bless ourselves from our own past and our own past mistakes and those past, past mistakes of others as well. For none of us are perfect. And move forward to grow because growing is the only way to go. My life is a gift. I appreciate everything I have. Very nice. Thank you, Spirit. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. So when you bless the past, you what? You get more. Of things what? Things you want. Things that are good. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. And that's just that's the truth. And if you always think that you're never going to have anything, you might as well just give up. <clears throat> just give up. Just don't, don't even do anything. Don't do nothing. Because if you really think that you're not going to ever have nothing, then guess what? You'll really truly have nothing. And even when you do have something, you'll still believe you have nothing. And that's, that's the truth. I am in control of how I react to others. Now, you're going to really need that one because that's the one I just said. You're going to push your buttons, right? And you're going to say, I'm at a higher vibration. I don't need to do that. If you make your internal life a priority, then everything else you need on the outside will be given to you. And it will be extremely clear what the next step is. Ooh. Law of Attraction brings only good into my life. You want to say that. Because otherwise, you track negative. That's the whole idea of energy. Gratitude will shift you to a higher frequency and you will attract much better things. So what? Only attract what it is you want. But that's why you really want to watch these people. And I'm telling you, your vibration's already going to tell you, whoa, 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 hold on a second. I don't like the way you're acting. you got to go. Because I'm trying to attract good things right now. Because your spirits are already all over you on that one. You're already feeling like things are shifting. Things are different. Something's going on. Right? Welcome. Make sure that you welcome love and kindness and joy into your life. Nothing else. Nothing else at this time or any time within your life ever truly matters. But love, kindness, and joy. Right? Because you are full of positive, loving energy. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.